Hey there! In this video, I'll be showing you how you can repair your PST file using a PST file repair software. For this video, I'll be making use of a PST file repair software that is available on this site. You can just visit the site and hit the download now button to download this PST file repair software to your computer. I already have this software installed on my system, so I'll just run the software and I'll show you how you can repair your PST file. Here's how the main screen of the application looks like. Here I find three options on the main screen that is open PST file, find PST file and select Outlook profile. Well the first option that is open PST file is to just select the PST file if I know its exact location on my computer. Whereas if I am not aware of the PST file's location then I can go with the second option that is find PST file. So what this option does is it scans my computer and recovers the PST file all by itself. So if I'm not aware of the PST file's location on my computer, then I can go with the second option that is find PST file. For this video, I'll be going with the second option that is find PST file. I'll select that option. And on the next screen, the software asks me to select the partition which needs to be searched. I'll start with C drive and I'll click on the find button. As you can see, the software now begins to scan my C drive in search of the PST file. And once a PST file is located, I'll click on the stop button and stop the searching process. I'll click on stop since the PST file has been located. And what I'll be doing here is I'll select the PST file and then click on the next button. Here I find two options that is normal scan and smart scan. For the PST file that was selected in the previous step, I can select normal scan which is a simple repair process that will fix the PST file if it shows any errors when I'm trying to access it. However, if the normal scan doesn't fix my PST file, then I can go with smart scan which is an advanced repair process which will make sure that the PST file is fixed in any way. So with either of these two options, I can make sure that all errors in my PST file are fixed. And what I find below is a browse button which is used to select a folder to save the repaired PST file. I'm selecting an existing folder on my desktop and clicking on OK. So in the previous step, I've selected a PST file and on this step, I've selected the scanning method and the folder to save the repaired PST file. Next, I'll be clicking on repair. As you can see, the software now begins to repair my PST file and fixes all possible errors that are present on my PST file. So after the repair process is over, the software gives me a list of all emails and other attributes that were recovered from my Outlook PST file. And right below that I find an option which takes me directly to the folder where the repaired PST file is saved to. I can click on destination which takes me directly to that folder and if I'm looking to import the repaired PST file to my existing Outlook profile then I can click on the click here option which gives me the procedure on how I can go about importing the repaired PST file to my existing Outlook profile. So here are the list of emails that were recovered from my PST file. So it's just simple to repair your PST file using this particular PST file repair software on your computer. The software is safe and it makes sure that your PST file is handled in a very safe manner. It sees to that none of your Outlook attributes are lost or even changed when the PST file is being repaired. You can just visit the link that I provided below and download this PST repair software on your computer. Thanks for watching.